I've been looking at the viewfinder the whole time. No. Okay, let's redo this. Let's redo this. Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Mel, and today I want to talk about my GCC work. As you can see, this is kind of different to the kind of setup that people usually do. I'm an international applicant. I'm not from the UK. So our whole GCC project structure is kind of different to what I've seen when researching online. Um, people usually have a sketchbook in which they put ideas in um, and in the end they make a final outcome based on the whole development. In the sketchbook, I basically just had a set of boards that I could make um, with development up to an outcome. It's basically the same process as GCC in the UK except with boards. Um, it's this way in my country at least, like where I'm from. I'm not sure if in any other countries it's different, but my project's just like this. My exam board was Cambridge, and the whole Cambridge Art GCSE series basically consists of you've got 50% of your grade based on coursework, and then the other 50% is based on an exam. So the coursework consists of four boards in which you have to find your initial ideas, I mean you set a theme, then you decide on initial elements linked to the theme, explore them, develop them, and then you do an artist's research to try and get more information, explore different techniques, and then you join everything together and do an outcome. The exam section is basically the same thing, except um, you've got two boards and you're generally not required to do an artist research. Then for the final piece, you've got an eight hour exam to do it. At least I had eight hours. It might've changed since then because I did this back in 2018, so. My theme that I chose is circus and carnival. I don't know why I wrote circus, carnival. Just, just ignore that detail. I started off by exploring elements that were linked to my theme. I did a set of photo shoots of myself back when I had longer hair, dressed in circus-esque, carnival-esque attire. I did a set of sketches in graphite. This is some sketches that I did from images that I took of my sister wearing circus e makeup. Then I did some cross hatching with eyes to show expression and explore emotion since I feel like circus and carnival is really like playing with the audience's emotions in a way to portray different situations in a show. Then I did some more realistic looking things than alcohol marker was again. This one's also an alcohol marker. I included the images that I used for each sketch and then I did a little acrylic painting to show uh, my skill to the exam board. This is just from an image that my mom took of me when I went to a carousel once to take some more pictures. And I wanted to explore composition, use of color, lighting, contrast, and all those sort of things. For each one of these, I turned them into a flap in which I put information inside, uh, just explaining why I chose to draw that, um, why I was trying to explore, what things I was liking, what things I wasn't liking, how I could do it better, how, could I, how I could apply it to my final piece, and little swatches. For a lot of these, I included the rest of the images I took when I did the photo shoots just to show all the work that went behind the making of the project. This is a little handy dandy trick I really like and enjoy that was actually suggested by my teacher when I was doing um, GCSE. This is a sheet of acetate paper that I decorated to make it a bit more... to make it fit the theme more. <laughs> and since I wanted this painting to be seen really easily since I feel like it benefited the layout. Um, I basically just stuck this piece of acetate on top and wrote the information for the piece there instead of having a big flap um, so I didn't get damaged since as you can probably see here maybe maybe not um, some of these flaps are creased from when Cambridge sent it back. So yeah. Okay so this is the other side of my first board. 
Um, here, this is the other side of my first board. Here I explored once again some more elements that linked to my theme. I painted some of the fairy rides in watercolor. Um, I made, made a drawing of lights and fairy lights back in Christmas time um, with alcohol marker. I did a black and white drawing of the carousel I went to uh, to explore value, contrast, and volume. And then I did a colored pencil sketch off a ball pit because uh, I wanted to explore lighting this again. There's a little mind map linking all the ideas together to show uh, my thought process behind everything. I explored as well different kinds of support that you can have for different art mediums. Um, this is actually not watercolor paper, it's canvas paper. And I realized straight after using it <laughs> when it didn't blend properly. So it's also to, it's also good to explore different things, different mediums, different materials, just to show a wide range and variety in skills. As you can see in my mind map, I included emotions, ambience, costumes, lights, music, and entertainment, and just showed where all the different elements I was taking came from, essentially. Second board. Are we still filming? Okay, so this is my second board. Um, here I included my artist's research. I actually studied two different artists, John Stillman and Van Gogh. I wasn't required to do two, but I thought the more work the better. John Stillman is an artist that I found after researching artists that might have worked with circus themes. He works mainly in oil, but uh, I did an artist study in acrylic paint since I'm not great at oil paint. I actually did, let me move this along. I did this one and then I did this other one since he has several circus paintings. I included swatches, uh, exploring how the background was made, and just basically pointed out all the little elements that I liked in his work that I wanted to use in my final piece. I included some swatches just for color study, and after exploring the way he makes his paintings and the techniques he uses, I decided to do um, my own painting using his techniques. So I used spiraling, I did a very painterly, brush strokey style. Um, I explored different gradients that I used. And this is a little painting I did of my cat <laughs> um, in John Stoneman's style. I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. Um, keeping in mind, I hadn't really painted that much with acrylic before um, starting this project. I've, I have mostly painted, drawn with alcohol markers before this, so I'm very happy with how it came out. For my other artist research, I studied Van Gogh. Um, once again, I used my acetate paper trick. For this artist research, I mostly focused on the different kinds of brush strokes he used. I recreated one of his portraits. I'm not super happy with how it came out. I feel like with the skills I have now, I would be able to do a lot better. But keeping in mind, um, oil paint is not my forte. And I hadn't really painted that much before Art GCC. It's, it's alright, it's fine. It's a bit too bright and vibrant in my opinion. I could have blended the colors more, I could have used more values. Yeah, I feel like I was mostly scared of using black and like very dark shades. Um, in case I missed, uh, in case I messed up. So it's a good painting. I just feel like I could have done better. I studied his different kinds of strokes, explained where he used them for what, and then the different approach to them, and some more color swatches. Okay, so this is my third board. As the name says, I developed all the ideas I had, all the different techniques I explored and connected and linked all of them together. Um, I did a painting of the fair ride that I had back in my figure sketches or like figure drawings or like object drawings, just, just sketches. <laughs> I did the same uh, fair ride again, but I used a more Van Gogh-esque style for it. 
I explored blending, background, swatches, contrasts, and color. Um, oh, what's it called? Primary shades, secondary shades. Um, oh, what's it called? Is it complementary? No, it's not complementary. It's fine. It's fine. So I joined all of my ideas together. I did a colored pencil drawing exploring emotion. Um, I feel like this was inspired by the happy and sad theater masks and in Venice and Carnival they use masks and all of that so I feel like I wanted to join that together with the ball pit and like reflections and that kind of thing. Once again, more text underneath. I did um, this little practice of reflections since in ball pits you can show reflection in the balls. This is the other side of my third board. This was when I decided the composition for my final piece, how I would make it, uh, what element that would be inside it, the color choices, lighting, reflection, and all of that. I took another picture of myself in circus themed costumes and I joined it together with the image that I took of the fair ride and included this very weirdly rendered Photoshop version. But I mean, it's just reference images, it's not the final piece, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I also practice drawing eyes and different techniques and drawing the main figure of the painting, just to be sure that it was exactly how I wanted it. And I practiced reflection and gradient and colors once again uh, for lighting. So uh, this is my final piece that I made out of all the work that I um, produced during the GCC course. I did this in oil paint. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that because I'm not that good at oil paint. Um, I guess I just decided to push myself and see what I could do with it. Honestly, I feel like acrylic would have been a better choice since um, I'm best at acrylic paint or even alcohol markers. So. This is the same composition that I showed in my um, final composition practice in the Photoshop render. Um, I used Van Gogh's style a bit on the bottom, on the floor for reflections and all that. Um, and John Stillman's use of like vibrant pops of color, like here and there. I explored all the lighting, all the lights, um, just the figure drawing and everything. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like the final piece. It's good at linking all the different ideas I had together, but I could have made something much better if I just used another medium. I really don't understand why I used oils, but choices were made, I guess. <laughs> I definitely think if I did this again, I would focus a bit more on the historical aspect behind circus and carnival because I feel like it's a whole world that would be very very interesting to explore. I could have given it a darker turn even. Um, I focused a lot on the superficiality of everything. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's a bit bland. I could have given it a bigger twist and played a bit more with the theme. I definitely think layout on the boards is very important and I think I did do that well. Um, in my opinion, keeping borders around drawings and sketches is very good to show the limits between one sketch and the other sketch and just separate things all together. Um, and the flaps were a good idea to write more information in. But I feel like if I had just made my my font a little smaller, I would have been able to fit more text on the boards without having so many flaps. Because there's so many flaps. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> if you use flaps, my recommendation is please, please make them all in the same direction. I can't express this hard enough. Make them all in the same direction. Putting the whole project in and out of my portfolio, just like a big portfolio I used to carry it around, it was the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> it was impossible. Um, it was also probably very, very annoying for Cambridge trying to mark it. So yeah, piece of advice. Um, explore a lot of mediums and materials and, and show how you feel about them in the text, like write about it, that's very good. Um, explain your whole process because Cambridge 
or the exam board that you're going through wants to see that. I feel like they really do want to see your thoughts behind it, why you linked things the way you did, um, which techniques you're more comfortable with, which ones you don't like as much. Give reasoning behind everything. Because the whole GCSE and A level, I feel like they're mostly based on what choices you make as an artist as well as the skills. Uh, because it's all about linking ideas together and making them your own. Um, yeah, overall I am very happy with it. I feel like I did my best um, with all the skills I had at the time. And of course now that I've got better skills and I've evolved more in my art, I look at it and I feel like it's not that great. But. I feel like I'm being too hard on myself, like I am, I'm actually very proud of it, I am very proud of it. And I got a good grade, I got a very good grade, like I can't complain. I definitely think that if you like art and you enjoy drawing, you should take GCSE art, because it's very rewarding. To me it was at least, it's very very rewarding. And you grow a lot artistically. One thing to keep in mind, I'd say, maybe it was just me, but I do feel like it's a more individual subject. Um, a lot of the work you have to do on your own, and sure you can bounce ideas back and forth with your teachers, but at the end of the day, all the work you do is yours. It's you who makes all the effort, and you can't really teach that much because all the students are using different techniques, different mediums, and coordinating that's pretty hard. Teachers can be very good to help you give structure to your project though, so that's that's good. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my GCZ art coursework. I am working on my A-level art coursework video, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed all of this, my ranting, my art rant. And yeah, if you're taking GCSE art, good luck, um, it'll be fine. Hopefully we don't have a repeat of um, the current world situation. See you guys another time, have a nice day. Um, feel free to like and subscribe if you want. If you don't want to, it's cool. Your life, your choices, do what you want. And yeah, bye.